George got so frustrated, he sliced some razor thin and fried them till they were crispy. Well, to his surprise, the customer loved him, and the Saratoga chip, later known as the potato chip, was born. Whether the story is fact or fable, the tradition and pride of locally produced chips lives on today. This is the Great Lakes Potato Chip Company, so named for obvious reasons. Because these chips are great. <laughs> True, Rodney, but it's also located on one of the Great Lakes. Lake Michigan and Traverse City to be exact. Population about 15,000, located about 140 miles north of Grand Rapids. Ed is the owner of this operation along with his son. They ran a successful pizzeria in town for years, but one day they got a hankering to try the manufacturing side of the food business. My son Chris and I were sitting around one day and he said, well, Dad, what do you like? And I said, well, besides pizza, I really like potato chips. He said, okay, let's look at potato chips. Ed and Chris did a little research and found out there was only one local chip maker in Michigan at the time. The way it started was we loaded a small crate in the back of his pickup truck, drove 110 miles down to the farmer, got our truck in line with all the semis. We got our 1,500 pounds of potatoes. The semis are getting 40,000 pounds. Oh my gosh. We drove back to the plant here. We had two part-time employees. We had one fryer, one old bagger that you had to constantly kick to get it to run. <laughs> Make it work. Exactly. And while they might have started out as small potatoes, these Michigan-made chips are now shipped into six other states and even into Canada. They can't bag them fast enough. Now, one of the things that we do is we leave the skins on all of our potato chips. Well, my mom says that's where all the vitamins are. <laughs> Mama is right, but we do it because it just tastes better. Uh -huh. ah, they are pretty heavy. Despite the explosive growth of Great Lakes potato chips, they still buy nearly all of their potatoes from a local Michigan farmer. Now after a quick bath, they're dipped out by hand and fed into the slicer one bucket at a time. Oh wow, okay that is one powerful slicer. In just a few seconds, five gallons of potatoes are sliced and into the fryer. Great Lakes is very picky about its chips, so in addition to carefully salting, there's also the selecting. We weed out the ones that don't make the cut. Wow, they come down really fast. I think Americans love variety as much as they love their chips. So, of course, Ed and his son have experimented with different flavors. We did three flavors initially. It was our original flavor, which is just a sea salted chip. Then we did a barbecue chip and a salt and vinegar. Now, Traverse City is known for its cherries and their huge cherry festival held every year. We do have a cherry chip. You do? See? Need I say more? So we made that just locally. We sold it in the local stores for a couple of years. But the demand continued to increase for it and increase. And so now we make it in uh, two different size bags and we ship it all over the country. Great Lakes even started making a new product that's not potato at all. Tortilla. tortilla. Grab a stack. To make tortilla chips, the spuds are replaced with round corn tortillas that are cut by hand into triangles. Oh! Just stop with that! Just like the regular chips, the tortillas are constantly stirred in the fryers to keep them from sticking together. They're even seasoned and sorted so no bad chips make it to the bagger. You know, the quality control part, that was kind of stressing me out because honestly, I never met a chip I didn't like. Man, these guys are great, but I'm glad they're only here one day. They're going to eat me out of house and home. So we aren't great at slicing or seasoning or sorting for that matter. <laughs> but we are good at eating, and surely we can handle packing and shipping. <laughs> you guys did do a great job, but you know, you do realize that Natisha does this by herself. <laughs> Now that you guys have bagged everything, we got them all stacked in the boxes here. We're just gonna get them wrapped up and take them over to the uh, shipping. Oh my goodness, she started wrapping me? I thought I was gonna end up in Florida. That's the problem. Get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> Ed's retired, and now he starts a potato chip factory with his son, and look at all the jobs he's created. The American dream right here. And I salute Rodney, who is certainly doing his part to keep their demand high. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.